QuickBooks Online 2024 Bank Reconciliation Month Number Two Deposits. Get ready and some coffee because the accounting team is on board with QuickBooks Online 2024. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars 2024 QuickBooks Online sample company file we set up in a prior presentation, opening the major financial statement reports like we do every time, located in the reports on the left. In the favorites, right click in the balance sheet to open link in a new tab, right click in the profit and loss, open link in a new tab, same for the trustee TB. Tabbing to the right, hamburger, close it range change it 010124 tab 022924 we're going to see it on a month by month side by side running to refreshing tabbing to the right closing the hamburger changing the ranging 010124 tab 022924 tab month by month breakout once again first a word from our sponsor yeah actually we're sponsoring ourselves on this one because apparently the merchandisers, they don't want to be seen with us. But but that's okay, whatever. Because our merchandise is, is better than their stupid stuff anyways. Like this CPA thinking cap, for example. CPA thinking CAP, you see what we did with like with the letters? And this CPA thinking cap is not just for CPAs either. Anyone can and should have at least one, possibly multiple CPA thinking caps. Why? Because based on our scientific survey of five people, all of whom directly profit from the sale of these CPA thinking caps, wearing this CPA thinking cap without a doubt, according to the survey, increases accounting productivity tenfold. Yeah, at least. Yeah, apparently the hat actually channels like accounting energy from the quantum field ether directly into your head, allowing you to navigate spreadsheets faster. It's kind of like how in like the matrix when Neo learns Kung Fu, or at least that's what the scientific survey saying. So get one because the scientific survey participants could really use some extra cash. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com. Running to refresh and one more time, tapping to the right, closing the hamburger, changing the range, 010124 tab, 022924 tab, and then we will select the months and run it again. Let's go back to the balance sheet. This time we're looking at the bank reconciliation again, but for the second month of operations. So in the prior section, we looked at the bank reconciliation for that first month where we saw it can be a little bit more difficult because we might have that beginning balance issue. On the second month of the bank reconciliations, this will be similar to the reconciliation process that we will typically see going forward from that point in time. So let's go back on over to this first tab. Let's go down to the transactions. I'm gonna close up the hamburger. And in the reconcile tab, you will recall that we can look at the prior reconciliations by opening, say, the history over here. We have the actual report and we can open up the attachment. So let's go ahead and open up the attachment for the prior uh, time frame, which I saved in here for the bank reconciliation uh, for January. So this is the bank rec. Let's open that up. And this is what we had last time. So I'm gonna close this out. And so that's where we left off from the prior period. Now we have a whole nother uh, month of data input. These transactions were those that were not cleared last time, which we expect to clear this time. So in other words, if I look at my bank statements, this was my bank statement last time where I had the beginning balances, the increases, the decreases getting to that ending balance in January. We had this beginning balance issue for the first month, but now that cleared balance to 61,241.85 will pull over and be the beginning balance in the bank statement in the second month. So I shouldn't have that issue anymore once we get online with our bank reconciliation. So we can see that uh, here, where we can see when we had the reconciliation, 
we have our our statement balance being our cleared balance at the 61 241 uh, 85 if I minimize this close this back out note that that amount of course is not what is on the the bank uh, or our books our books are showing as of the end of February 95779.05 so there's still a difference that difference of course is going to be the outstanding checks and deposits so we're going to do a similar type of process for the second month we'll be able to see some of those outstanding items for the prior period clearing in the current period and then you would expect some items in the current period that we know about have not yet been known by the bank and those will be the outstanding or reconciling items for the second month so we'll do this a little bit faster now because we've seen it before let's go to the first tab and we're going to go back into this reconciliation we're into the checking account once again the beginning balance notice it's hard coded now uh, because because uh, it's pulling in from the prior period now if you if you needed to adjust the prior period if this number was wrong and you did a bank reconciliation before then you might actually have to go to the prior reconciliation and undo it right redo the prior bank reconciliation so that you get your beginning balance to tie out once it's tied out everything should move forward smoothly next we're going to plug in our ending balance we just manually do that from our bank statement so that's going to be the 101 590 so i'm going to say this is 101 590.05 let's make sure i got that right 101 590 this is going to be as of the end of february so i'm going to say february 29th noting that you don't want to do a bank reconciliation generally from just your online banking list of transactions you want to have the actual bank statement because that gives you a defined cutoff date which is going to be important for the reconciliation i'm not going to be using these items down below i still think that these are kind of legacy type of items most people don't use these days because they probably have the bank feeds on therefore any service charges or interest earned would be put in place when you have the bank feeds i also always kind of like to do it myself because i think these transactions can be confusing to people because it actually creates a transaction uh, that you, that might be in a different format than you're used to so i'm going to go ahead and say all right let's uh, start the reconciliation so we have the similar process up top this is the statement ending balance this is just the amount that we plugged in manually this is the cleared balance what does the cleared balance consist of it consists of the beginning balance so if i compare that uh, to my statement here the beginning balance is now correct notice i can check that off as we go this is the summary up top 61 241 85 so 61 241 85 and then we're going to have our payments or decreases and deposits these will of course be populated as we start checking things off down below once we find everything that's on the bank statement in our system the cleared balance should be marked off and we should have a, a green check box ready to go down here and we could still have some uncleared items down below which we could uh, which will be the reconciling items also just remember that if I go into this edit tab that's where the information is up top that we put in uh, when we first started the bank reconciliation including the ending balance let's close this out I'm going to minimize this I'm going to start with the deposits as we did before so we'll go into the deposits and just see those and let's go back and forth remembering that we typically want to go from the bank statement on back to uh because everything on the bank statement should be on our books everything on our books possibly will not be in the bank statement so i'm looking first for this uh 347250 also recall that the deposits should be easy for us to reconcile as long as we have a good accounting system so that we're not trying to tie things together meaning marking off multiple things on our books in order to match a singular deposit which can happen if you have like uh, credit card charges or cash that you're depositing into the bank as a lump sum which consists of actually multiple transactions so you need to use the clearing account 
Uh, if that is the case, if you're finding the deposits to be difficult, you're probably not properly using the clearing account so that your accounting system will result in a deposit into our books bank account in the same for format that actually will hit the actual bank account. Okay, so we have the date and we have the amount in, in, our, in our system from the bank. And that should be enough to tie out, especially if these are electronic transfers because the date will be very close. So 34.72.50, let's look at that. We're going to go back on over here and say, okay, let's do it this way. 32.74.50. Now this one, you can see this was actually uh, deposited in January. This was an outstanding item in January. It's clearing in February. There's the timing difference that we would uh, expect to be seeing. So that looks good. That's what we would expect to happen. Let's make this one green. We'll make it green. And then we're looking for the 12,250, 12,250. Boom. On three, two in our books, it's on uh, two, five here. So we, our books will always be earlier than the bank books or, or the same date possibly. The 450870. So there's the 450870. And that, that, and then let's mark that off. And then we have the 750. The 750 is here. And then finally, we have the 400. The 400 is uh, here. Okay, so the, everything is marked off. That looks good. If I go back on over, we'll say this one has been marked off. We have found everything. So note that we found everything on the bank statement in our books. That makes sense. We still have some things in our books that are not on the bank statement. That too could make sense as long as these are outstanding items that we expect to clear possibly in the following period due to the fact that we entered them in our system, but the bank doesn't know about them yet. They haven't yet cleared the bank. So what would we want to do then? We would want to look in our checking account as of the current day, note that when we do the bank reconciliation, we don't actually do it on like February 29th. It's going to be sometime after February 29th in practice because we would have had to get the bank statement in order to start the process. And, uh, and that would take, so it's probably going to be at least 15 days, you would think, or something after, you know, it might be sooner than that, but it's going to be after that time frame. So we can look at our actual transactions to see if these did clear in the following month in March. If they did, then it doesn't mean that they're wrong here. It's not like we're going to change the date. It just means that it means that they, they, they're they good. They're legitimate. There's just a timing difference. So these will be the differences between our book balance and the bank balance. Also, just realize that if you built your books from the bank feeds, meaning you, you have gig work or you got paid by YouTube, then you're not going to have these timing differences. Why? because you're you're not really doing a full service accounting system you're just building your books from the bank feeds instead of double checking to the bank feeds which is a good way to do it in certain cases but it's not like the full service accounting system so you'd still want to reconcile in that case but in that case you would just check them all off they should all be good unless there's something funny going on it should be a really easy process to reconcile if you're building your books directly from the bank feeds but you can't always do that as we've discussed and we'll talk more about the bank feeds in a, in a future course or section as well so that's going to be uh, the general idea and so that looks good so we haven't entered anything new if we get our total we're at the 51981 and that's going to be here the 51981 check that one is done and so next time we'll continue with the uh, decreases and wrap it up from there nothing new so we don't really need to look at the trial balance we haven't entered anything new let's just save it for later grab some coffee and then get back to finish it finish it up after lunch or whatever